So, I know this deck always uh, has been getting updated uh, now that the TCG finally has um, my probably most broken favorite machine card in the game. Um, I can finally build the space cash delivery. Uh, like I said, this is probably one of my most favorite combo based decks in the game uh, because of Tomahawk combined with the coach container king uh, knitting massive card advantage um, and it being one of the most ridiculous engines in the game to generate card advantage so we're going to talk about the current list um, there are some things i would like to point out about this because this deck was built pre-soul charge um, Soul Charge you can fit in here beautifully. Uh, just cut Royal Decrees and probably something else from the deck. And it will really speed up your life. Uh, so do keep that in mind. The deck is very much compatible with Soul Charge. Uh, like I said, just minus Royal Decrees. Uh, put in Soul Charges and be my guest at playing uh, this fun deck. Um, so, if you guys don't know, you get two level 7s on the board with uh, Mr. Shin Kuro here. Uh, Shin Kuro goes, okay guys, uh, you exceed into this guy, you make three burrito. Uh, the burritos, uh, I'll let you draw three at the end. Uh, you go into container at the end and draw uh, more cards. So it's a plus six. Um, if you guys remember me playing Space Cash Delivery quite some time ago, like two, three formats, uh, it's so fun. So, the deck. One cannon, the triple fortress, pretty straightforward. Uh, one redox, triple gear frame, the two quick, two Nisamu, two Saizam, two Psychic Commander, two Strategist, triple Kimono Girl, one Karebans, triple Shinkuro, and triple Effect Veiler. Uh, As for the spells, the triple Instant Infusion, one Foolish Brew, triple MST, the triple Emergency Teleport, and two Royal Decree, or Soul Charges, uh, depending on how you wish to play the deck. Um, for online testing, I've been doing Decree uh, temporarily. Uh, the extra deck, Tomahawk, yeah. Uh, Big Eye, Draco, Coach Container, Triple Berry, the one Stardust Spark Dragon, Triple Burrito, uh, Jeweled Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, it's temporarily not out. You guys can sub it out for anything else uh, that you figure would be good for level 8. Uh, Scrap Dragon might be an interesting call. Uh, the one Draco Ascension or Leo, you basically just go into this guy at the end of your uh, raid of level 7 and whatnot, so you can put a Leo in place of this uh, same result. One Star Eater, and uh, the one Cybersaurus or Unicycloid, depending on what you want to cut for it. So this is temporarily my update. Um, for this deck. Guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.